What's up everybody? Thani here. Welcome back to yet another video. It's good to have you. Today we're gonna be fishing with live bait, man. I just cast that as some uh, greenbacks. Well, actually these are thread fins here. Let me show you. Good size baits, man. Look at that. Look at the size of these baits. Perfect for snook fishing right there, man. So we're probably gonna get like maybe a dozen more, about a 20 gallon trash can and hopefully that works man we're gonna fill that up with water and then transfer these guys into it and then we're gonna take the bait elsewhere and hopefully hopefully we get lucky man hopefully we get onto some fish today some big fish it's a big snook that's what we're after today big snook let's get to it look at this man that's not a good look <laughs> first thing in the morning my bucket handle broke oh well we still got this one though that's all right. We'll just put the, uh, the cast net in this bucket and use this bucket to transfer the bait. We just pulled up to the first spot and the greenbacks are, or the thread fins are looking lively, man. I mean, look, look at them. I don't know, man. I'm liking this little bait bucket here I got. Anyway, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on this hook here. That's the VMC 4 rod. That's what we're gonna use. It might be a little bit too small, actually. I'm gonna step it up to a 5 aught. Here, we'll use the Laser Sharp Trocar 5 aught. If I can find one. Here's one right here. That looks better there. I'll show it to you guys in a bit. That's the Trocar right there. I'm just gonna tie a regular clinch knot. I use clinch knot for everything, man. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Thready. Man, he's, he is so lively. He is so lively. We're just gonna hook him through his nose, like so. Oh yeah, that looks good, man. Hopefully there's fish over here. But if not, I won't sweat it. We'll go to a different spot. Let's go. He hit the water kind of hard. <laughs> Man, that don't sound good. I think this <laughs> this sustain needs a new bearing. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but are you serious? The, the thread is dead. First cast and he's dead. Not a single freaking bite. Lost two baits. It's all right though. We still got a couple dozen. We're gonna go to the next spot and uh, hopefully get on some fish. Let's go. All right, man. Loving this rig though. Looks good, man. We just made it out here to uh, another spot. I noticed that these greenbacks, or this thread fin here, is so lively once he hits that salt water. But in the brackish water, man, he was like barely moving. I didn't get a single bite yet. We just got here like five minutes ago. Hopefully, hopefully the snook over here, man. Let's see what happens. Fish on, baby. Snook, the target of species. Oh yeah, he's a thumb man. Look at that. Wow. Look how small that snook is. And he thumped that freaking bait that big. That bait, that bait was probably like four, four inches, four or five inches. That's awesome though. Fishing with thread fins, man. Gotta love it. Let's get this, let's get a release on this guy. He's not that big. If I just flip him like that. Look at that circle hook, man. Right in the corner of the mouth every time. All right. First one of the day. See you, little dude. All right, let's throw another bait on. Oh my gosh, he came up. Yo, he came up at the surface and popped at it. That was so sick, man. That was so sick, guys. That was insane, man. I forget how fun it is to fish with live bait. 
that was insane. He was probably about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger, but still, man, for him to come up like the surface and pop at the bait, it's just, it's amazing. On it, on it, on it, on it. On it. Oh yeah, the trout, no way. Look how big that trout is. Sick. Oh my gosh, he came up the surface and popped it. Yo, that is so sick. Look at that, that's a freaking nice sized trout right there. Oh, no way, he swallowed it. That's weird. Oh my god, look at this, look at this trout though. Look at that, man. His gut came out for some reason. <laughs> Hopefully he's alright. I hooked him right in the corner of the mouth though. That's weird. Man, this guy came up and chomped it. Alright, later dude. Whew. Let's try to get on some more fish. I'm pumped. Alright, got a brand new bait. Let's toss him down there. Just straight freelining guys, no weights or anything. 30 pound leader, 20 pound braid. Just because uh, I'm fishing structure and um, there's a lot of rocks down there. So so when I fish live bait, man, I, I typically like to, to match the size of the bait to the size of the hook. You see that? You want it to, you want it to match. So when that predator fish inhales it, you have a better uh, hookup ratio. All right, so it looks like it's slack tide right now, man. So the fish are probably not feeding. High tide is at two o'clock and it's like 2.05. I didn't realize. I didn't even check the tide, man. I just went out to Fort Soto and got some bait and came straight over here. We're gonna take a little break and wait for the tide to start uh, coming in. Well, actually it's high tide, so it'll be going out. <laughs> so it'll be, it'll be outgoing tide soon. Uh, we're at the new spot now. Got a thready down here. It's a little bit windy from up top, but um, hopefully there's fish down there, man. Got a fish on, guys. You got me wrapped around the piling. I'm putting my stuff down. Get it, bro. I'm, chasing this. I'm chasing after this fish, bro. I'm chasing after this fish, man. Yes, baby! Got him! Got him, baby. Let's go! Look at that, man. Look at the size of that fish. He dumped it, man. First cast. First freaking cast. He's done. He is done, bro. That troll car in his mouth. He's done, dude. Look at that. That's a solid probably 35 inch right there. Beautiful fish, man. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that hook, man. Right on the corner. Right on the corner of the uh, his mouth. Choke car, man. All right, came right off. All right, we're gonna get a good release on this girl. So this fish wrapped me around the piling man i had a i had to loosen the drag up guys when these fish wrap you around the pilings just loosen that drag and just just play it right keep fighting him because if you put tension if you put more drag uh on that reel that line is just gonna snap so so when these guys wrapped you around the pilings just lighten that drag up man and that's that's what i did and it took me about three minutes but hey it was worth it big healthy girl she's probably 34 34 35 I'm, I'm assuming she's probably like 10 pounds. We're gonna we're gonna release it though. Man, that's a beautiful fish. Look at that. No matter what size they are, they fight. Pound for pound. 
she's ready to go, man. She's got scars on her. Look at that. One last look. Awesome fish. All right. See ya. I'm telling you, snook candy right there. That's it for me. Before I close out this video, I just want to show you guys the rod and reel combo I'm using for today. This right here is a Chris Screens custom rod, 10 to 20, seven foot two, medium heavy. It's a, it's a Bushido blank, really nice rod, man. Lightweight, I can sling live bait all day without getting fatigued. I have it paired up with the 5000 Shimano Sustain, 20 pound Andy Black Braid, 30 pound Ohiro Crystal Leader, and a five aught, um, that's the Trocar Circle Hook. You got the job done, man. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, smash that subscribe button if you know this is something you're into, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.